hello everyone uh, today we are performing the bromoform test okay so that uh, test will require the apparatus that is the separatory funnel then funnel stand then one more funnel and filter paper that is your that is our waterman 2 waterman 2 filter paper then essential chemical that is the bromo foam and then few um, pure acetone for washing purpose and few clips for the to clamp the filter our filter paper so basically your filter paper you have to mold like this in cone form so that you can uh, prepare without any scissor is that in the way such in such a way that you just fold it until the center and again perpendicular to it again one more till the center and then we just fold it like this if this is the paper this two cuts this two cuts and then fold like this or just i want to show you the means this again this in this way till center and then clamp it with the u pin or stapler whatever is comfortable for you but make sure that it won't touch okay this without any cut your cone is ready that you have to put in the funnel okay that funnel will be gone into this another lower one beaker so let us start first of all pour the bromo foam into the funnel and make sure that funnel is closed so we already pour the bromo foam and then keep the uh, knob off because this is evaporating constituent then one more flask or or funnel equipped with means covered with the filter paper that you have to put at the bottom of the separatory funnel you can see like this so the whole your thing setup will be goes like this so now let us it's time to pour the sample so just let us open the container and put putting the sample into the funnel with the help of glass rod the amount of sample may vary with the here i'm taking the very small amount of sample okay and let us stir with the glass rod make kind of turbulent and every process you have to put in the fume chamber so for the and we we will allow the sample to settle down i think it is clearly visible two times minor agitation we will provide them so that equally grains is going to be settled or may be floating up this the yellow one we are the lighter one and the bottom which is collected that is our heavier one still 10 minutes we are given for the sample to settle down at present the sample is settled the few grains are already 
settle down and some are resting on the walls so this kind of agitation will help to the those grains to settle down at the bottom sink into the sink at the bottom so slowly we just turn on the knob if let me turn the whole part so we slightly turn on the knob we will allow the pure amount of liquid to pass through it the whole liquid which will come down to the filter paper and filter paper will filter out and pass it to through the funnel and will drop down and collected at the bottom bottom flask grains which are resting over the there are fine tiny grains of some minerals is are resting over the filter paper so these we are going to separate in this and keep it separate and we are going to wash it this particular list grains with the help of acetone and we are putting another filter paper with the another with the another for the another funnel and another flask with the second another filter paper same procedure putting over the funnel and the rest of the liquid we will allow to pass and filter it and now whatever the collected grains we are going to wash them with the help of acetone let's take it out first the pin now we will pour the now we are going to pour the acetone with the help of dropper to clear this particular filter paper as well as the grains the grains and the all material we have collected over this particular petri dish which is also labeled one okay so now these fine grains we are collected over here that we can see and finally we are going to wash the whole apparatus with the help of acetone